Hey, Jim Toscano here. And when you do a live stream on Facebook and you want to download that video after the fact, I did a YouTube search and there was a lot of misguided information or at least information that I don't think is relevant anymore or does not work. So I'm going to show you a very, very simple way to save those videos. You can upload them later and repurpose them for other platforms. Let's jump into it. I'm going to bring up my Facebook account. When I came up here, I did this live stream just the other night. You know, it used to be that you would click here on the three dots and you could download the video, but you can't do that anymore. But you can, when you click on this, you can save the video. And as you see, mine says unsave the video because I've already saved it. You would click here to save the video. Once you click to save the video, and, and in fact, why don't we go to a different video, save video. Add this to your saved items. So I would click save video. I'm just gonna save it for later. And so now that little video, if I click here and go to videos, See where it says videos of you? This is stuff where I may have been tagged. You wanna go to your videos. And the one that I really wanted was this one, which was my live stream from last night. And you notice there's a little pencil tool here. If you click the pencil tool, it says delete video, download HD, download SD. And I've already downloaded this video, but I'm gonna do it again. So download HD, I want that high definition instead of standard definition and I click that and now it's downloading that file right here. It'll take a few seconds or a minute to do. This is a, a two hour video so it does compress it and it notice it didn't give you save as, it just said to save. So you'll wanna rename that perhaps uh, to something that you're gonna remember because it's just a bunch of digits. Waiting, 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 waiting. Now it's in my downloads folder. So if you click the arrow, say show and finder and then as you can see, here's that uh, now I'm going to rename this mp4 boom done okay so now I have this mp4 if I double click that now I have an mp4 of the live stream that I can then go and take and post somewhere else anyway I hope that's helpful uh, that's how I do it and then of course if you were going to migrate that over to YouTube I could go over to my YouTube channel and I could say um, YouTube studio upload and then we can drag and drop that right there. Boom, let's say I wanted to do this one. I could upload that right here. There it is, that is the process. If you like what I do, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. See you on the next one.